this is grade 2014 set 1 electrical question number 6 the three circuit elements shown in the figure are part of an electrical circuit total power absorbed by the three circuit elements in watts is being asked this is the circuit given and the NPT reference lecture which you can see in order to solve this question is network analysis by professor Tapos Kumar Bhattacharya department of electrical engineering IIT Kharagpur and this is the YouTube link so now the useful data that will require in to solve this question is if you have a circuit element the voltage across which is plus V and the current is entering like this okay into the plus terminal that means what that means power absorbed by element and generally in electrical circuits we denote this power absorbed as positive power again if you have a network that is circuit element and this is minus this is plus that means the current is going out like this from the plus terminal it implies that power is delivered because against the EMF it is delivering the power the power delivered by element and this type of elements you call sources so this power is negative power now in order to solve this question also you need to know that if you have branches a b c and the currents in these branches are like this i a i b you note the directions because directions are important so sigma i equal to zero for this node that is sigma i that is sum of all currents flowing into the out from node n if i name this n then it will be zero the sum of all the currents flowing into the node or out from the node should be zero and you have to take the consideration of direction also so this is kcl that is kirchhoff's current law which will be needed in order to solve this question now drawing the circuit this is the minus shorter leg and this is the plus as in the diagram again shorter leg here so this is minus and this is plus note we need to find total power absorbed and i told you power absorbed is like this the emf is like this current is flowing like this then only it will be absorbed and power absorbed in this case will be positive now you see this is 100 volts and 10 ampere is flowing like this 8 ampere is going out now use Kirchhoff's current law to find the current in this branch what will be the current if 10 ampere is coming inside this node and 8 is going out so remaining 2 should flow through this branch so 2 ampere goes there now you know the currents in all the branches now only you need to find out what is the amount of power absorbed for these 3 elements now for this element P absorbed as you see 2 ampere is coming in so this element is delivering power so it is not absorbing power so power absorbed is negative equal to minus 30 watt because you see from the plus terminal current is coming out so it is not absorbing power it is delivering power or in other words it is absorbing negative power so negative power we have written that again here you see plus terminal is here and current is coming inside like this so it is absorbing power again like you see here plus terminal is here current is coming out like this 
so it is delivering power so p absorbed is negative in this case because it is delivering power and it will be 8 into 8 640 watts minus 640 watts and here it is absorbing so p absorbed is positive positive and it is plus thousand watts so net p absorb equal to thousand minus thirty minus six forty three thirty watts so answer will be three thirty watts so this 330 watts answer thank you